hi guys welcome so as you can see this is nothing related to makeup welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to be making fufu and soup so a lot of people in my house aren't feeling that good and soup is the best way to go this is the liberian way by the way oh uh, in this pot i have oxtail lots of oxtail oxtail is the favorite of, of my household and i have some turkey neck in there here I have bunny, that's dried fish, and of course, as you can see, that's pepper. I have maggi here, that's on um, seasoning from Ivory Coast. This is dry chicken. The maggi that I have in here, I have some here peeled already. My fish is already clean, and um, I use vinegar to clean my fish just because it has some um scent to it, like fresh scent to it that I don't really like. So vinegar or salt does the... um that fresh scent justice. The dry bunny that I have in here is right here. I just wanted to show you how it looks like in a package. And this is eggplant. As you can see, it says um, fresh Liberian eggplant. And this is sesame seed. You're probably wondering what I'm gonna be doing with sesame seed, but you will see that later. And I use this season as well. All right, so everything I use, I will be sure to leave them down the description. So try to check. I already washed everything. So what I'm going to do is just um put them in here. And what I do in processing my food is that I cook the oxtail and chicken in the pressure cooker. So I put them in a the rice cooker and um cook it there. Then I empty it into the pot. You're going to see that later on. For the fish, I steam it by itself. I'm going to show you that as well. So let's get onto the pressure cooker and put some water in here first. All right, so I filled the water up to the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some season in here. I just eyeball whatever I do. And if I need season later on, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. This is enough for now because I don't want to overdo it then end up making a full salty we don't want that so I'm gonna... all right so on my pressure cooker i'm gonna go ahead and click menu and go one two three four five five is for meat and steak and i'm just gonna go ahead and hit start and let that process why process i'm gonna take care of the fish and the sesame seed and i will show you guys that when i'm doing it okay so I rinsed my pot already, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the fish in here and put some of the eggplant in there. The eggplant is half cooked already because prior to putting it in the freezer bag, they usually cook it. And add some season to the fish. I promise you, there's not a whole lot of season. I've been doing this for a while, so I know exactly what I'm doing, but I like for my fish to steam with season as well that way by the time it get into the soup itself it also has its own flavor going on in there so i'm gonna add some water onto this pot as well that is enough to let it steam and process well go ahead and leave my stove on like six so it's on um, slow cooking it's not in any rush as well and i will cover that up now we're gonna move on to the sesame seeds okay, so i'm gonna pour some of that sesame seed in here some water on it so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh sit there because usually there's some little little sand and things at the bottom okay now I'm going to put that sesame seed in the uh, frying pan and patch it. Okay, patch it, that's how we call it in Liberia. I'm not sure how Americans pronounce that word. I really don't know it. So if you're American and watching, just see exactly what I'm doing. And if you have a name for it, leave it down in the comment below. But as far as I'm concerned, it's called patching. Patching. And the stove is on seven. So that's low enough. Right now it's wet. I'm going to patch it until it turns. Not only that it gets dry, but it turns brown. 
So I'm going to walk you through the process. Is it just me or the popping of this thing sound is so satisfying? Just listen to it. Okay, so this is what we got. This is what it's looking like. It's brown enough, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put it in a blender and blend it. And this stuff is very hot, so don't put your hands in it right away if you can't stand hot stuff. But I'm glad I can deal with it. I will be blending it on the smoothie section. Turn the blender on first. Okay, so once well patched and blended, this is what it should look like, this golden brown. I took out some because I might be using it for dry rice or something. Pepper and eggplants are in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the blender to blend it all together. All right, so that's the soup. Just gonna go ahead and pour everything in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more water into that soup. And this is good enough water. You just gotta eyeball it depending on how much soup you want and how big is your household. My household is not that big, but we love pepper soup and fufu. So we have to make the soup enough to at least last us a week. So I'm going to add two more of this cube there and add some more seasoning. I tasted it already, so that's why I'm adding this much. And from here on now, I'm not going to be adding any more seasoning. Oil. Okay, so I got some whole okra right there. I cut some already. I'm going to boil that and put it on the side because my husband loves okra and not everyone in the house like it so we have to compromise make sure everyone gets what they want okay so the okra is boiling and i added two more pot of pepper in there because when i blend it it'll have that spice and if the soup doesn't have enough spice to it you can use the okra and balance things out so it's fair to everyone and it's edible for everyone so this is what the soup look like soup look like currently it's like clear I'm going to go ahead and add that um, beta ball and blend the sesame seed to it. And it's not only that it's going to make it thicker, it will also change the color. And it's just like a, mass, a magic potion. Makes the soup taste and smell different. So good. And after this, I'll go ahead and add the fish. Once I add the fish, I will let the soup boil down to my liking because it's already seasoned and all the ingredients are already added. Even the um, oxtail is fully cooked. So I'm just going to let it boil down to my liking and then I will make the fufu. Fufu. I'll make the fufu and then <laughs> we will just go on to eating. You know what? Let me tell you guys something, okay? Funny story. When I was pregnant with my son, I had an ultrasound, my second ultrasound to go do. And that afternoon, I was so hungry. And we had rice and fufu. But I was craving fufu, like honestly. My husband told me it's going to be a bad idea. You're about to go do ultrasound. I was like, ah, that's what I want. Hey, that's what the baby wants. That's what the baby gets. So I went ahead and had fufu. We went to the hospital to go do the ultrasound. The lady started doing it. She saw the fufu floating around. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. It was a weird moment because she was trying to figure out what was that. Like the last time you came here, this... This wasn't that and what's going on. It was so funny. I was dying. And I'm like, okay, it's nothing. I just ate. When we came home, my husband was laughing at me. Up to now, he still bring it up. And I was like, whatever. I had to eat, okay? <laughs> Anyways, that was just a little fufu story. And every time I'm cooking fufu, I kind of think about it too. So, yeah. This is what the soup is looking like. Nice and ready to eat. You can drink the soup by itself. 
you can have it with some rice or have it with exactly what it's made for fufu and yeah so if you made it this far and you enjoy watching me cook please subscribe when you subscribe hit the notification bell okay to be notified when next i upload okay so i went ahead and switched book because honestly i'm about to eat and this is the okra and um something sauce i'm just gonna take a little bit of that tap it right on top of this thing Okay, now it's time to eat. The food is hot. Mm, so good. But spicy. <clears throat> All right, like I said before. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do that. And thank you so much for watching. Hey, bon appetit. Sorry, I got carried away. I almost forgot. But, um, yeah. Mm.